So right, I'm sitting here in the car just being thankful how good the Lord is. And he really listened to He listened to you. He sees your your pain. He feels your what your heart has been uh, been weighing heavy on your heart. Don't ever believe or have the enemy set you up to believe that he doesn't hear you. That he doesn't he doesn't see you. There's there's no circumstance too small too large for the Lord. You know, we've been uh, I've been dealing with something heavy that I didn't know how to get past. I, I, I didn't know how to um, I didn't know how to fix it. I didn't know where to start to fix it, and it put me you know in a in bad headspace. You know you know you immediately resort to your flesh and what you're you're used to doing. You know and what you how you used to handle things. Um, but I know from from past experiences that that's not how it's done. That's not going to get the results that I need. That's not going. To, that's not even going to be the way that the Lord wants me to handle it. He wants you to relinquish all control onto Him. And the issues that you have or experiences are could be you know could be painful. Could be hard to deal with. Very hard. I'm talking about you could be dealing with an eviction notice. They telling you to get out of the house in 30 days. And the Lord is telling you to wait on him. And in your mind, you're saying, like, I don't have 30 days. You know, Lord, you know, I got to get out now. I got to figure out an answer now. And he's still telling you to wait. I hear you. Believe me when I tell you I've been there, too. I've been there getting the notice saying you have until this set of day to leave the property um, if we don't receive X amount of dollars and you're looking at your account like well X amount of dollars ain't there I don't have it don't know when I'm going to get it it's not that many shifts I can cover it's not too many DoorDash or Ubers I can I can pull to bring this amount about. And then you start reflecting on yourself and your, your choices. And you tell yourself, like, how did I get here? What did I do wrong? You know, did, you know, did I something that set the Lord, you know, and you know, I, I did everything I can. And sometimes it's not you. The enemy wants to wants you to think that it's you. Something's out of your control. Something is so out of your control that you have no choice but to Call upon the name of the Lord. Come in the name of the Lord. Get down on your knees and say, Jesus, please help me through this. I don't know the answer. I know that you're listening. And I know that you're able and capable to do way more than I can do. Immediately watch how he changes things. This is for the person out there who's watching this video who's waiting for a miracle, waiting for something to change. I don't know your your story. I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what you have already tried. But I'm telling you, continue to try the Lord. Make him your first line of defense. Come to him first. And I know people say when Christians say, take it up to the Lord, give it to the Lord. What did the Lord say? You know, when you come up with a problem, you want answers. It's frustrating to hear that. I do understand that. It's frustrating. But again, take it from someone who's been there. As frustrating that it is, it is true. The Lord wants to hear from you. He wants to be there in the thick of things. He wants to be in part of every single movement that you have. He wants you to call upon him and let him know, like... I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm, I'm up. I'm here. Now I'm certain how I'll even do from here. But I'm here, Lord. 
Where should I go? What decision should I make? How do I grow from here? He wants to hear your difficulties more than, you know, your your triumphs and your, your, your victories. Because when we get the victory, we tend to push them aside thinking we don't need it as much. And that's another thing you shouldn't do. When God starts to bless you, when he gets you out of a situation, don't stop talking to him. Yeah, you may not have something bad right now to talk about, but you have something to talk to him about all the time. Just saying, Lord, thank you for the day. How are we going to tackle the day, Lord? What else do you want me to learn today? What are some lessons you want me to take away from this day that I can share with my brothers and sisters of Christ? It's something that you had that God had brought you through or eternally working on getting you through that you can share with the Lord. You can share with the people of God. There's a testimony in you that someone needs to hear. That is why the, uh, the Lord will continue to work on you, to perfect you, to let you to speak out and tell your story. It doesn't have to be as hard as you make it. You have to believe that the Lord will get you through. You have to believe that. My name is Ernest Seaster. Please, if this is you and you're, you're, you're searching for something, you're searching for a way out of whatever situation you're going through, I promise, try the Lord. Talk to him. If you need help, if you if you don't know how exactly what the words to say, you need somebody to help be with you and agree and to pray for you. I'm here to pray for you. Leave a comment below. Like this video, share this video with somebody you know that may be having a hard time. If it's not you, pass it on to somebody who may be having a hard time, who don't know where to turn, who don't, who have tried everything, and don't know what to do next. This channel is for a body of believers to come together, for us to lean on one another and pray for one another. I am broadcasting this in the parking lot on a Tuesday afternoon. Because God had told me to reach out to somebody out there who someone needs to hear this. Someone needs to know that he is Lord. Someone needs to know that it, the situation you're dealing with, no matter what it is, is no greater than how great our God is. That Jesus is waiting in open arms, ready to welcome you into the kingdom. Ready to forgive you for anything you have done. God bless you. I'll see you guys real soon.